So what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel once again. You know I appreciate having you here. Now today we've got an unboxing video. I've got a new crash helmet and if you couldn't tell, it's one of these. It's a shark. Now I'm going to be up front with you. I haven't paid for this one. It was a gift. It was given to me through Doble's Motorcycles. Nick down at Doble's Motorcycles hooked me up with a firm called Nevis Marketing who supply shark and other various brands to the motorcycle industry. I shall leave the link to both Nevis Marketing downstairs and also to Doble's Motorcycles, who's funny enough got a new website up and running. They have a new online shop. So go and check that out downstairs. But before you do all that, stick around for this one because what I'm going to do is take the crash helmet out of this box. We're going to have a quick look at it. We're going to see what it's all about. It's brand new to me. I haven't actually seen it yet. I haven't seen it in the flesh. I've only seen it online when I ordered it. So uh, this is as new to me as it is to you. So fingers crossed, we both like it. Thanks for sticking around. Right, before I open the box and we have a little look at this beauty, and I'm saying beauty because I'm anticipating it is gonna be, and I'm saying that because I do like shark crash helmets. I'm not just saying that because I've been given one. Here's proof. That's my last road lid, and that is a shark carbon. So I do like shark. I've had four before that. So this will be my fifth, sixth shark crash helmet. When I had my big accident back in 2011, I was wearing a Shark Carbon, the first carbon crash helmet I ever bought. I went head first for a wall. It saved my life. So I've got a little bit of a soft spot for Shark. Right, let's crack on and open the box, the exciting stuff. What have we got? Look at that, it's got a cross member. See that? I like that. That means uh, when it's been stacked, it's got a little bit more protection than if it's just in a standard box. Oh, are we getting excited yet? I am. I know that's not normal for a grown man to get excited over stuff, but I am. We've got two bits of cardboard. I won't do that with a crash helmet when I take it out, by the way. We've got one of these. It's a pin lock, so it comes pin lock ready. That's good, and it's clear, so I'll be able to see out of that. Sorry, gotta stand up. Let's put that there. We don't need this. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. As I said, I've only seen this on the internet. I haven't seen this in the flesh. They were good enough to send me a carbon fiber. They let me pick a carbon fiber option because I've got a problem with my neck. I will only wear the lightest lids possible. So I don't even know what this one weighs. Hopefully it'll be written on there and I can tell you. If not, I should go to the website and put it on the screen now. Right, so let's crack on and unveil the lid. But before we do, just a little bit more attention. I just want to thank once again Nevis Marketing for supplying this lid to me. Really, really appreciate it. Once again, the link to their website will be down below. They didn't have to give me a crash helmet, full stop, but they certainly didn't have to give me the carbon fiber one. They know I've got a problem with my neck. It was explained to them. I've got some problems with my neck, so I like a light crash helmet to save my... You know what I mean? So. Thank you very, very much for that. Uh, this is the first time I've seen it, as I've said. Seen it on the internet, haven't seen it in the flesh. So, let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. oh, check that puppy out. Oh, oh, oh look at that. How sweet is that crash helmet? Oh, that is, as they say, the dog's danglies. I love that color scheme. Again, here you go, have a little look. What I'm gonna do is at the end of this, I shall stick this on a thing that revolves, <laughs> sounds wrong, and uh, put a little bit of funky music to it so we can enjoy it on the outro. As I said, it comes ready with pin lock, and it's got this, I don't know if you can see that at the front, that's how it opens and locks, this little catch here, and it locks in place. That's marvelous, I like that. It's got a D-ring connection here, which I do like, I always prefer those. Let's uh, throw this out. What have we got in here? You've got an extra chin weather anti-wind technical thing and some 
high visibility stickers. I don't know where I put that on because it's already quite snug here. If you look there, it's very snug on the inside. So that should fit nice and stop the wind coming up. I'm anticipating this to be a quite quiet lid. It's also got, look at that, but when you get caught out, perfect for the UK. You go out and it's raining, it's dull, then the sun comes out, bam, sorted. It's also got, I don't know if you can see there, it says shark easy fit. So if you wear glasses, this is nice and easy for the glasses. The glasses sit down there so it doesn't pinch on the side of your glasses. I mean, I don't wear glasses on the bike. I wear them for reading, but not on the bike. But I have worn sunglasses in the older sharks with this system and the sunglasses, they, they fit pretty comfortably, so that's good. All right, so let's run through the vents. On the front, you've got a vent here. Top, got a vent here. At the rear, got a vent here. Oh, it's all exciting stuff. I don't know how many vents are on it. It's probably all written in here and in the information if you go to Shark's website or Nevis Marketing and uh, go and have a look there. All the information for this will be there. Right, so let's have a little quick look at the visor, see how easy that is to take off. I'm assuming these little bits on the side, they're the same as the ones on the side of that. I don't know if you can see that. The little clips there. So I'm assuming they just, that's right, it just clipped out there and then that side clipped out there, and then you just pull it off. Boom, done, simple, easy. I almost threw it over my shoulder then, but I don't want to do that. And then to get back on, just the reverse. I know I cut it there, and you're thinking, I did something fiddly, but I didn't. I just dropped the visor, so it looked like a bit of a donut. But there you go, and then clip that there. Done, easy. I'm in love with this lid. Only time will tell uh, whether I get on with it on the roads, but stick with the channel and we will find out that at a later date. I'm obviously not gonna do a review now because if I put it on in my kitchen, I'm gonna look like a strange person. So I'm not gonna do that. I will do a review later down the line, but that's the end of this one. I'm gonna put this on a pedestal, let it spin for you and give you a nice little outro of sexy music with a sexy crash helmet. So thank you very much again to Nevis Marketing link downstairs in the descriptions box and also thank you very much to nick at dobles for hooking this up once again dobles website their shop is now up and running so go and check that out once again link downstairs in the descriptions box just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching do appreciate it don't forget to subscribe to like to share give it a massive thumbs up i shall see you on the next one you know i love you all stay safe fish out Did you wrong, but you did me wrong, so go ahead and